So the mRNA Technology Transfer Program is a great partnership between many organizations and the number of organizations is growing where essentially we have this network of institutions, academia, manufacturers using this new technology, the mRNA technology platform to create health products. There's a potential to have an HIV vaccine, for example, using the mRNA platform, TB, malaria, diseases for which we did not have vaccines. Vaccine manufacturing is quite a complex process and you need trained staff. And this is why WHO has also launched the Global Biomanufacturing Workforce Training Initiative. The new mRNA hub shows us what pandemic preparedness can be. We will not be prepared for ending the current pandemics or stopping the next pandemics unless we figure out a way to concretely share technology at a moment of crisis and in a moment when we're trying to end the AIDS pandemic, stop TB, etc. HIV for far too long has had no vaccine and no cure. We have to ensure that the prospects of a vaccine coming are shared broadly. And that's what we see happening with a handful of the Coalition of the Willing, where governments are partnering with multilaterals or partnering with industry to ensure that there's actually availability of cutting edge technologies. And therefore, we as UNAIDS are deeply excited about what it could mean and the model that it presents going forward. At the Medicines Patent Pool, our model has always been about partnerships. But to some extent, sharing patents aren't enough. You actually need the technology, and that's particularly true in vaccines. And this mRNA project is so important because this is maybe the first time that we're really doing this on a big scale with cutting edge technology. Our partnership with WHO in leading this program is incredibly important. Just as our partnership with UNAIDS in HIV has been so important, this project is something that everybody needs to get behind to really make it work. That is all the governments. That is industry, that is academia, that is the global health community. We're all in this together.